Hiya, my name is Jay and welcome back to the channel. Today we're back playing some Jurassic World Evolution on our 1993 Isla Sona Sandbox Park. Today we're going to be introducing my favourite dinosaur so far, the Velociraptors. Now, before the introduction of the Return to Jurassic Park DLC, the Velociraptors were quite possibly the worst dinosaur in the game. I'm not even exaggerating, they were awful. They had the absolute blandest skins and just this weird model where it had this massive head with a really weird jawline and I don't mean that as in the um, I don't actually know how to explain this, just where the teeth come out, basically, where the lips are. It was a straight line and it looked so unnatural, it just didn't look like an animal. Like I don't want, okay for example, obviously I'd love to have a realistic feathered velociraptor but for what it is, it just doesn't look like a living animal, so to speak. It's just all the shapes feel wrong. They're, they're not, there's not that curvature, there's not that, you know, gentle kind of uh, gradient across the body that you would expect with an actual animal. There's not all these little details that make it stand out. And I'm not sure if I'm actually making any sense here, but if you look at the new Velociraptor models that have come with this DLC, they look spectacular. So, so much of an improvement. And it's not a lot that has changed. Little details like uh, the shape of the eyes and again that shape of the jaw that's changed. Now it has these uh, curves to it. The teeth are not all the same size now. They have um, a gentle gradient where the teeth are larger towards the back and smaller towards the front. All these little details just, while obviously it doesn't make it look more realistic so to speak, it makes it look more like a real animal. And I think that's just such a major change that works so well with the Velociraptors. And they've just shot up completely across the 68 creatures we have in the game. The Velociraptor has gone from the bottom to quite possibly right at the top. Especially with the new 2001 skins from Jurassic Park 3. They are beautiful. Easily the best creature design in the whole movie series if you ask me. I have a soft spot for Jurassic Park 3. This is going to be a bit uh, of a controversial opinion, but I think, in my books, it is my second favourite of the Jurassic Park franchise as whole. So just the original Jurassic Park is my favourite, but Jurassic Park 3 actually comes in a pretty close second. And I know that's pretty unpopular because there's a lot wrong with Jurassic Park 3 and I don't deny that, but it had the best dinosaur designs. As far as the story goes, uh, eh, it's, it's, it's alright, it's not particularly great, but I don't mind. And it translates really well because the Jurassic Park 3 Velociraptors, one of my favourite parts um, to the design is actually the eyes. The eyes don't have the slit pupils, they have circular bird-like pupils, which I think just looks so cool. Makes them look more threatening almost, more and again, more like a real animal, which I'm really happy about. Anyways, for their habitat, we're building at the top of the, um, the, top of the park, so this area is kind of raised above everywhere else. It's going to be where our two main carnivores are going to be, so the raptor and what we're going to be introducing in the next and final episode. It's a pretty straightforward habitat, gave it some elevation, again more redwoods, and I put in three females and two males. I think that was the configuration in the film, I think that was what the pack was like. I might be a bit off, maybe there's another male, but not entirely sure, but otherwise the pack looks really good together. I had the twirl drive past here and I added in the Velociraptor pen that we got which isn't functional but it looks really good next to the next to the habitat because it has the little watchtower of guards so it looks like there are people keeping an eye on them which is pretty cool. And that's about it for this episode as far as I am concerned I think. <laughs> I'm always unsure because I, I don't strip these and I'm like hmm do I have anything else to say? maybe and then when i finish recording i'm like ah oh, crap i was supposed to mention like 10 other things but yeah that's it for this one so thanks so much for watching uh leave a like if you enjoyed this i hope you've all had a fantastic new year we're coming into 2020 now and i do hope that we get more people watching the channel and i would love if you guys left some comments or feedback have a great start to the new year and i will see you guys in the next one bye